Now that you've had time to think, how you doing? He don't need no water! Because emergency services were there and nobody was hurt. I actually studied ancient stone carvings at UCLA. That's not really talent, it's like a fifth grade birthday party game. He was dreaming when he wrote this, so forgive David if it goes astray. Whoa, nah. -uh. The whale was later reached for common and he said, Oh Perfect. Oh come on! The shirt completely. You had your off. sleeves up to like here and here, and you were in tank tops all the time and I flexing. still had. And you're gonna get mad at him for still, shirt off, and then you put a jacket on. I'm going to host tonight's episode in honor of Christian, and I will only use one arm. And it was just kind of like. I know. Yeah, it was. I don't know. What was that? No, it was a mouse fart. It was a mouse. <laughs> bicep. Bicep. We gotta lead with it that. Triples the night. Who knows when the bicep pull happened? Because that dance was going <laughs> down fast. I don't think what the mime was he thing tonight? is cute. It was cute. Like a jackass in a mime outfit. That's good TV. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the red carpet is wrapped up. And what did we learn here? Writers and actors, they party equally hard. The future of 3D is in good hands. And there's a mean after party happening somewhere here, but no one will tell me where it is. What am I, chopped liver? So you're not going to name any names here of people that hate being famous. Goober, <laughs> hates it. Excellent, he's probably gonna have a great award season then. <laughs> <laughs> you could easily spend all day exploring the innovative new technologies and products at the Panasonic CES booth. Here are just a few of this year's highlights. You're damn right I can play. I'm a guitar hero machine. We're gonna give the GAP members a chance to get on stage and show us some of their tricks. What do you think happens? at the end of the series? I, I know the real answer, so I can't say. This real answer is, is I'm anyone kidding. ever gonna find no out? Real. I'm just kidding, there's no real <laughs> answer. Don't scare me like that! <laughs> Prepare yourself for the best basketball games of all time. <laughs> Good Lord! Oh, <laughs> Candy festival! Oh, my goodness. It's like a pinata! <laughs> all right, kids, your secret hiding place? We found it. Candy for everyone! <laughs> Courtney, don't worry. We're gonna get your prescription for diet and fitness right now. Now, let's not forget our studio audience is playing along, too, for some great cash prizes. Say hello, bingo players! You don't need the whole rack of weights. Here, you just dial in the weight that you want, set it up, and there you go. You're on your way. I would lift more, but you know, I didn't want to show off too much. And there's one other thing. There are no parents allowed. Tonight, we're here at Universal Studios Hollywood, and we have a special game plan for tonight's episode. Our upwardly mobile guy is all about making a statement. So when he whips out a phone that's thin enough to slice cold cuts, what he's really saying is, check me out. If you and Wilmer Valderrama were to have a dance off, who do you think would win? Wilmer got it. All right. Hear that, Wilmer? I bet you if you and Wilmer were to dance, though, you'd take him out. You know what I'm saying? I got right. some moves. Throw it out. Throw it out. <laughs> you may think you've seen my moves, but I got some new ones up my sleeve. Check this out. Oh, yeah. All right, Mr. Dancing with the Stars. Let's see your moves. Come on. Can you shake it? Bring it. I wrote you a letter in fifth grade. Did you get it? I did. You did? With that photograph? Oh, my God, yes. Oh, boy. I was... I was kind of a nerd. But that's why I'm here now, hosting a show about video games. Game two is just moments away as Bingo America plays on tonight. Who's my winner over here? Me. I think we should have laid down the rug first. Nope. 